even though I'm no longer a D1 athlete, I still want to train like I am an athlete. So I had to figure out ways like, how can I train to a certain level of intensity and not feel like I'm about to pass out, right? Hey guys, I'm Ryan and this is how I lost 45 pounds. So make sure you guys follow me on TikTok because I will always be posting what I'm doing. Um, always, like right now, I did gain a little bit of that weight back and now I'm on my journey again to try to lose 10 or 15 pounds again but I'm nowhere where I'm nowhere where I used to be um that's for sure so just to preface a little bit I did have a baby in 2019 and just because of COVID and also in law school I was in yeah, law school was very hard I was in law school I was running my own business I was trying to maintain my relationship maintain my friendships I just had all the things going on I really took on a lot of that stress and gained a lot of weight whether that was because I had a baby or just because I had stress, I had to figure out how can I lose this weight. So to be completely honest, it took me a few years to get on a consistent workout schedule and really to figure out, you know, can I do this? How can I lose weight? What can I do to lose weight? Um, I grew up as a dancer, a competitive dancer, and most of my life I never had to work out. I just danced and, you know, that was my workout. So I had to teach myself how to work out outside of just like running a mile so right i would dance and then i'd be like okay i want to go to the gym and so i would run a mile and think that was a workout no not even touching the surface i really had to learn how to work out and you know i learned that every day has a different target area it's been a very long learning process and so these are the things that i did that i think would help you tremendously if you're looking to not only lose weight but to also tone up and lean out that muscle i'm no longer a d1 athlete so even though i'm no longer a d1 athlete i still want to train like i am an athlete so really a season of challenging myself and pushing myself to its limits beyond my own limits um i think i'm in the best shape of my life only because i have a different type of endurance outside of just like dancing for two minutes straight i've learned how to use you know other muscles and things like that so there were two key components and what I really did, there was a fitness aspect and a nutritional aspect. For me, I would say getting in the gym was the hard part, but really like for real, for real, my nutrition was terrible. So some things that really motivated me were making sure I was getting 10K steps in every single day. But what really like changed the game for me and like honestly changed my weight loss and fitness journey. I got this cheap watch. I had one before this, but I got this cheap watch it was like $25 off Amazon no this might have been like $20 yeah it was like $20 on Amazon I had one before that and it was like $9 and all it did was track my steps and it t it had the time on there as well so it was a calorie or a step tracking watch and every time I would hit small goals it would you know do the balloons and do the curtain congratulations so initially before i really start getting into tracking my steps i would set it for like 5,000 steps a day and then i realized like 10,000 was the number i should really be aiming towards so i set it towards 10,000 steps and when it was like the best feeling ever every single day once i hit that 10,000 steps it would alert me and say um you know it would buzz and like go off letting me know that I hit that 10,000 steps. So to me, that was rewarding enough to where I felt that feeling like, hey, I accomplished something and I wanted to hit that every single day. So that Amazon, that cheap little step counter, I upgraded only because I got, I was gifted this, but without that, I don't know if I would have been as motivated. In addition to that, like I said, I wanted to start training like an athlete. I was just tired of I was just tired like of looking in the mirror and being like oh my god i do not recognize myself so i wanted to start training like an athlete again i would walk for an hour um on the treadmill or i would do one of these workouts and i will put that here or i will share which workouts it was it was by joy chavez and her trainer um rock solid fitness i think his name is jared washington and they were coming out with these programs during covid I would okay well I was actually like my friend sent me hers and then we split it like a group of us split the next um one that came out so 
we would do these workout plans and that also really helped was like doing doing these daily um challenges or these monthly challenges with a friend that really helped me like because we were holding ourselves accountable like hey did you work out today or like you know we we're checking in but those workouts and also because of covid i didn't want to go to the gym so that really hindered my fitness journey these were at home workouts right so i was losing all this weight at home okay i was working out i was walking for an hour every day whether that was outside or and eventually i started going back to the gym and i would walk on the treadmill for an hour um i started at like 20 30 minutes and then i increased to an hour and then i would do one of joy and gerald's workouts every single day and i would do it for 30 days give myself a week or a week and a half off and then do it again or swap out the you know programs and that's what i did that by itself really motivated me so much because i started seeing it i started seeing that weight loss and they kind of guided me on what i should eat so i started off with their meal plans and then i kind of did what worked for me because everything in there wasn't like i didn't love everything i am kind of a picky eater so yeah and then besides that i kind of just like went out of my way to do things that were just a healthier option so i would take my son to the park while i was at the park i would walk around more instead of just standing there or sitting down I would go to the grocery store more often just so I could walk around um, the grocery store. I would make sure I took the stairs instead of taking the elevator, um, small things like that. Now the nutritional side of things, I have my phone. So if I'm looking down this one, I'm looking at, I really focused on my gut health and I started taking something called L-glutamine. I will insert that here so you guys can see it. I started taking L-glutamine and that definitely i would say i've had that was uncalled for but i would say i had like a leaky gut and i would always have like gut issues um and so that l-glutamine single-handedly changed my gut health like my gut health is so much better now and i truly think that healed my gut health along with other things that i did but the l-glutamine top tier and it also like lowered my cravings so i wasn't always like i mean i still was craving but it wasn't as intense as i might have you know been craving you know things before so i would take a glutamine and then i would also take some fiber power powder to help like cleanse my body and then i would i start juicing and i made like green juices and green smoothies um and sometimes i would supplement that for a meal um I wasn't, I was never really super big on breakfast anyway, so I would eat that as my earlier meal option, and then I would also do intermittent fasting. So I would either eat from 11 to 7 or 12 to 8 with a hard stop after 8, no snacks, nothing. Um, that, that helped me regulate my eating tremendously. Um, besides that, one of the biggest factors of regulating my eating was i was on a calorie deficit and i would use my fitness pal i was eating 1300 calories a day um on top of those two workouts so i was constantly you know burning calories and then my calorie intake wasn't so large so that really helped and again i used my fitness pal that helped me keep track of everything and also once you start tracking your calories you'll realize how many empty calories you're just eating whether that's like juice or you know sauce sauce was a really big one for me um and actually yeah we'll talk about it i will do a lot of alternatives but we'll get to that shortly for me i'm really i have a really bad sweet tooth um so i started using and not this particular brand every single time. Let me see if I can. Not this particular brand every single time, but I would use sweeteners with no calories um, and kind of just like pop that inside of my water. Um, for those who want to see, I got a huge water bottle to help me stay accountable and to drink more water. And then these water sweeteners were kind of help tend to that sweet craving that I would have. Um, and so I would buy a bunch of different flavors and just pop that in my water. So 
I wasn't constantly craving, you know, something sweet because it was technically, I was drinking it, right? But there were times that I would still crave sweet things or candy or, you know, things like that. And so I realized if I want to, you know, lose weight, I would have to make lifestyle changes, right? And so with that, I would find alternatives. So for ice cream, I used to eat these bars called Yasso bars. I still eat them now, but they are frozen Greek yogurt bars, but they're so good. They have a bunch of different flavors like cookie dough, strawberry, pistachio, but to me, they taste like ice cream. So I would make sure that I saved enough calories because I knew, you know, I would need a Yasso bar at the end of the day. So those really help my cravings. If I, you know, wanted candy, I would start eating these candies called smart sweets and they have a bunch of different options like you can get suckers or like licorice fake swedish fish like they have the healthier version or alternative version of whatever candy you like but with less sugar and less calories so like sour patches um things like that so i learned to tame that sweet tooth with alternatives um and chips i am a big if you guys can't tell i really like to snack so i would love to eat these snacks right instead of hot cheetos i would eat um garden veggie hot straws and cauliflower cheese chips um it was enough for me and then while your palate is changing you can start eating these alternative you know items more easily because it was still very flavorful um, once I would eat food that had a bunch of sugar and a bunch of, you know, sodium and things like that, it was hard for me to eat it again because I just wasn't used to that anymore. So it's scary at first, but you get used to it and you start craving those things. So, yeah. And then, like I said, besides snacks, there were things that, you know, I was like, okay, can I not eat bread forever? Can I not eat sauce forever? So I started getting those sauces by like g hughes where the calories were like 10 calories per bottle or per you know teaspoon tablespoon and then um for like bread i would use the instead of eating like 200 calories in one slice of bread or like in one sandwich i would start using the keto wraps that had like 45 calories per tortilla and so i mean it wasn't much and it did taste a little bit different but it was a better option for me instead of eating all that bread eating all those calories um things like that and then for sauce in addition to those g hughes sauces i would also eat greek yogurt or take low calorie yogurt and make my own sauce so like if i had tacos i would use that greek yogurt as sour cream or i would you know like if i was making like a a mixed sauce I would mix like hot sauce and the sour cream to make you know a sauce for the tacos or for like a buffalo chicken wrap things like that using low fat cheese um it tastes a little bit different but like I said once you're in the group it's like you're it's you get used to it right like your palate changes and then outside of that when I did have cheat meals they were still relatively healthy I would eat like kava or chipotle um and i would still try to you know not use all the sauces and things like that so i was still eating i was still eating like what i would normally eat kind of also buy clothes that were really cute to me um that would motivate me to be like okay i look cute in the gym because when you look good you feel good so buying those cute gym clothes motivated me to be like hey put this on go to the gym you're gonna feel good going to the gym so I would do stuff like that or like I would buy actual clothes and I would buy them smaller. I would buy these actual clothes smaller because I'd be like, okay, I can't fit in today, but my goal is to fit into it next month. And so that kind of helped me and motivated me like, hey, I really want to wear that dress. You have 30 days to get down there. So that's kind of what I did. And yeah that's pretty much what i did in a nutshell all the things that i mentioned i will make sure i link down below because some of the things that obviously helped me get through this was found on amazon so i'll make sure you guys have the links to that 
Um, in addition to that, you know, just thank you for hearing my story. Um, and again, I was able to lose 45 pounds. I do still want to lose a little bit more weight and I am on another weight loss journey because I did gain some back. But if you guys want to follow that journey, make sure you guys follow me on TikTok where I'm currently doing a third day series, which will probably extend out to like a 60 day series to see how much weight loss I can do during this time. Um, like I said, I'm hoping to lose about 10 to 15, but you never know. I might lose more, I might lose less, but come on this journey with me and let's hold each other accountable because you can definitely do it. Don't limit yourself, don't hold yourself back. The best thing that you can do is just to start. Um, so yeah, just start and start with me because I need some accountability partners. People have been telling me they'll check in, but no one's checked in yet. Oh, and also I made a big girl purchase and I got a treadmill because I was like, okay, I need to get on that treadmill at all whenever I can. So that's really helped me. But yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. If you guys have any more questions, leave them down below and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.